Hi, welcome to our channel. Notrop Grumman won't bid on Air Force NG-80 fighter. Notrop Grumman does not plan to bid on the Air Force 6th generation, next generation air dominance fighter program as a prime contractor, Chief Executive Cathy Warden said Thursday. But Northrop Grumman is interested in serving as a supplier to other bidders on the Air Force NG-80 program as part of its mission system portfolio. The Air Force in May announced it had sent industry a classified solicitation for an engineering and manufacturing development contract for NGAD, launching the progress for selecting a company to build the advanced fighter system that will replace the F-22 Raptor. In Thursday's call, Warden said Northrop had previously been quiet about these plans for NGAD, but has now told the Air Force it does not plan to respond to the request for proposals as a prime. We are remaining disciplined in assessing the right programs to pursue, Warden said, and that's once where we feel we are well positioned with major offerings and where the business deal reflects an appropriate balance of risk and reward for both the customers and industrial base. Warden said Northrop Grumman might participate in Navy's separate NGAD program, which the service refers to as FAXX. We have other opportunities we are pursuing, Warden said. When asked about FAXX, I won't disclose at this point exactly what those are until a little more information comes out on other programs, but you could assume that if we feel we are well positioned and the government is appropriately balancing risks and reward, that would be a program we will pursue. Dave Keffer, Northrop Grumman's chief financial officer, also said testers in the second quarter successfully turned on the power of the B-21 rider systems and the stealth bomber is still on track for its first fly in 2023. Keffer said Northrop expect the Air Force to award the first low-rate initial production contract on the B-21 after the first flight, but Warden warned inflation and other macroeconomic factors remain a risk for the B-21, she said the Pentagon notified Northrop in the most recent quarter that it has allocated another $60 million for B-21 LRIP procurement in 2023 due to inflationary effects. The Air Force has $1.4 billion budgeted in 2023 for B-21 procurement, including advanced procurement funds from the previous year. In a previous earnings call in January, Warden warned inflation, supply chain disruptions and labor issues had raised the B-21's cost estimates and the company said that a loss up to $1.2 billion on one or more of the expected five LRIP lots was reasonably possible. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.